Hello my lovelies, welcome to the final part of the Kingdom Hearts 2 Critical Mode Final Mix Let's Play. Last time we confronted Xemnas, the final last Organization 13 member, and now we are faced with the door that all the worlds have given us so that we can defeat him once and for all. I think we should have a chat very long before we leave. Do you remember before? We were just facing each other on opposite sides of that door. Now we stand side by side. Let's go home together this time. I love you. Kiss kiss. <laughs> I kissed the boy. I'm tired of waiting, so don't tell me to stay behind. For now on, wherever one of us goes, the other follows. Got it? <laughs> Could I have read that? <laughs> the most awkward English in the world. Zephyrus is probably going even stronger. He's waiting for us. Haha! <laughs> the better begin with Anson's research. Let's finish this for him. Don't let your guard down. We may want to get separated in time. Come on, Sunny Brother. The Kingdom Hearts opened the door to Xamnas. We can't let this chance slip by. It's going to be a tough fight, but we can do it. <laughs> we sure can, so... Pardon me, but I will be mostly silent for this last part because I will be going in full concentration. Remember, this is a critical mode, so... And also, I leveled up two levels. Well, I think level 58. And with uh, Riku and Goofy being level 59, I think... I think we'll be good. <laughs> uh, okay, all this stuff. Hyper... I'm so glad I caught that before we went into the fight. That would have been... Hard. Well, actually, the auto limit. I think... Yeah, the auto... I can do that manually. I think we will be fine. Um, Goofy... <sighs> Let's see. What does Goofy have that I don't... Um... Automatically appraises falling pot. Oh, okay. I mean... Well, if, I feel like for that, it doesn't matter. MP Rage. Yeah, sure. MP Rage sounds good. And once more. Yeah. I think I'll be good. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. So, with that good old key and key. We should, we should walk. There's no rush. I mean, this was a fun LP. And, uh, you know, for Kingdom Hearts 3, I've been debating. And I think I've decided that for that LP, I'll be doing it on proud mode so that way we can get the secret ending stuff. So I'm very excited about that, so, uh... Open the door. Beyond this door is the beginning of the end of your journey. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? Let's end this. Oh. <laughs> Can I feel more putting on my headsets? Uh, whatever. It's epic. Get ready, Xemnas. It all ends here. Huh? So, it seems your hearts have led you to obliteration. Perhaps it doesn't pay to be too loyal to one's heart. I will have to be sure and remember that. I just want to note that this is my favorite, not only my favorite boss fight, like any boss fight for any Kingdom Hearts game, for any no! game in general, so it's my absolute favorite. We can take it, him on our own. Let's do it, let's do it.
my bad. Curse and Take this. Curse and boom. Back off. It's over. Design of this whole thing is just my favorite. I love it. Oh. <laughs> I need more rage. I need more hearts. Xemnas, there's more to a heart than just anger or hate. It's full of all kinds of feelings. Don't you remember? Unfortunately, I don't. No, oh, look at them celebrate. Great. Oh, precious. I love the sound effects. You're coming back with us, right? Yay! I had given in to the darkness. No! Riku! Riku. How am I gonna face everyone? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. This is too good for my heart. <laughs> Wait, why would I want you to stop if it is good for my heart? <laughs> Hurry! Okay. I'll open a path. Huh? Oh. Oh. You don't belong in the dark realm anymore, Riku. You're a good boy now. <laughs> You're full of light. Hmm. <gasps> Nominee. You know, I wonder if, like, Sora looking at her like, like that, he remembered. Ridiculous. Well, I'm not sure. But we better hurry and get through. Oh. Nominate to serve better. Wait for me. There's a lot of characters in this series that deserved better. But if I uh, talked about any other kind of character, they're just spoiling a, a good chunk of other Kingdom Hearts games, so play them. <laughs> they're good. Thank you, Nominate. Sure. See? We meet again, like we promised. Huh? You said we'd meet again, but when we did, we wow. each other. I did, didn't I? But I knew you. <laughs> it's strange. I think I understand. So it's like he came out of me. <laughs> I see myself the way you remember me, and you see yourself the way I remember you. I always thought nobodies were doomed to fade back into darkness. Yeah. But you and I did it. We got to meet our original selves. So, we can be together again. Oh. Right. Anytime Man, I used to ship him so goddamn hard when I was little. We'll be together every day. Right, Sora? Uh, Nabade and Roxas yeah. are a cute ship. And then uh, Shion and Nabade came into my life. I'm like, you know what? That's a strong one, too. <laughs> Look sharp. I am. Look at my hair. <laughs> and you look sharp too. <laughs> I'm funny. Uh, huh? Don't worry. You're all still you. The way that Riku looks at Sora gets me every time. Hey, let's go home. Yay. Riku, come on. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Well, guys, it looks like the LP's over. We beat Sevenus. We're finally going back uh. to Disney Island and. Sora, Riku! 
<laughs> I guess that's not happening, isn't it? But this, 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 this is such an epic way to end your game. Everything about this is amazing. And this thing, this freaking dragon, nobody has a freaking rat design, frick. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love it so much. Oh, nah. Look at it. Look at the colors. Like, I can gush about this final boss fight for ages. I can write an entire essay about this, but this is fantastic. <laughs> Once again, full concentration, folks.
Riku? Yeah? I wanted to thank Nominate, but I couldn't bring myself to say it. Not until everything was back to the way it was before. Don't worry. We'll make that happen. Once this is over, you can thank her all you want. Yeah! from the realm of light. I will not allow it to end this way. Not yet. If light and darkness are eternal, then surely we nothings must be the same. Eternal. You're right. Light and darkness are eternal. Nothing probably goes on forever too. But guess what, Xemnas? That doesn't mean you're eternal. <laughs> no more eternal than that radiance of yours. Anger and hate are supreme. We shall go together. Yeah, 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 yeah
sure of that. <sighs> Sora. I can't. Don't say another word. It's not over. It's just not. How can you say that? Even if we could go on. Look where we are. Aw, oh, come on, Riku. You've been hanging out in darkness too long. You gotta try and think positive. <laughs> That's what I try to do too, honey. Sora? Hmm? You lead. Got it. You know? I always figured I was better at stuff than you. Really? Hmm. Are you mad? No. I kind of always thought you were better at everything, too. Riku, look. What's that light? End of the road. Yep. Put me down. I can walk. Oh. <laughs> you know, maybe the darkness has gotten to me too. No, sweetie, no! <laughs> Riku. Riku's like, I don't want to hear this. Uh. This world is perfect for me. 
If this is what the world really is, just this, then maybe I should fade back into darkness. Riku. No. If the world is made of light and darkness, we'll be the darkness. Yeah. The other side. The realm of light is safe now. Kyrie, the king, and the others are there. That's what I mean. Hey, Sora. Could you help me? I want to get down to the water. I love I just this whole rest of this. It's just so like I don't know, there's something gentle. Like their interaction is just so gentle. I really love them. I remember back in the day everyone got all fangirl like he's like, Oh my god, he's touching his butt. I'm like, he's holding his belt, come down. <laughs> At least the waves sound the same. You know, I wouldn't mind chilling in a place like this. It seems very relaxing. You know you know I've had to be stuck here. I wouldn't mind what I that said much. back there <laughs> about thinking I was better at stuff than you. Mm -hmm. To tell you the truth, Sora, I was jealous of you. What for? I wished I could live life the way you do. Just following my heart. Yeah, well, I've got my share of problems too. Like what? Like wanting to be like you. Hmm. Well, there is one advantage to being me. Something you can never imitate. Really? What's that? Having you for a friend. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And I guess I'm okay the way I am. It's as sweet as thing. I've got something you could never imitate too. I'm legit gonna cry. <laughs> oh my god, this. It's like so peaceful and they just get to finally talk and it's like, oh. I'm sorry. Sora? Hmm? I think it's for you. Thinking of you wherever you are. We pray for our sorrows to end. And hope that our hearts will blend. Now I will step forward to realize this wish. And who knows? Starting a new journey may not be so hard. Or maybe it's already begun. There are many worlds, but they share the same sky. One sky, one destiny. Light. The door to light. We'll go together. Yeah.
we did it <laughs> like it's always a blast fading through this game over and over again no matter what I've played this game I play this game I like I played all the Kingdom Hearts games like countless of times but two has always had a special place in my heart to this day I still love it to death so so much like I could not ask for a more perfect game than this and like I feel like more than ever, I feel a lot more emotional when it comes to Cage 2 because, like, like after this, like, I mean, of course we had our spinoff games, but like, we were just waiting for that big, big number, which was three, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3, which is coming out in like three days now, two days, like, it's absolutely insane, like, I was so young when I played this series, like, I was so young and like, now I'm in college, you know, I like so many things have changed in my life. Like I'm not like I've I've grown up with the series and I just I don't know where I would be if I didn't have this series. Like it's so important to me. Like I love it so much. And to see how it grows to see how it grew originally from the first game to what 3 is gonna be, it it's so inspiring, like, I don't know, something about that really makes me happy for the series. Like, a premise like this, like, nobody ever thought about it before, Disney with Final Fantasy, but like, they, they, they did it, and it worked masterfully, like, I couldn't ask for a better game, and yeah, I'm just like, wow, well, <laughs> every time, like, <sighs> and then let me talk about that final fight, because I was like, mostly quiet, I did so good on that Zenith one, because usually the triangle, like, probably usually messes me up, but, um, let me turn this down in my ear, blah, 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 blah. um, but, well, that's loud, um, but, the final fight, oh my god, <laughs> I, I, I've said it, like, briefly before, you know, the final final fight began, but like, yeah, my girl Yoko Shimura, she doing God's work. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to s oh, I just- Okay, I need to focus on one thing. Okay, so, the final fight, it just kept building and building, and like, the whole colors and the design of the enemies, and also, I want to mention, but there's that guy in the armor, his name is Noheart. I don't know if- um, I might have to try to look up more information about him, but I'm not sure if there's any official lore about No Heart. He does appear in Birth by, uh, Birth by Sleep as a uh, secret boss fight, which I haven't uh, gotten the chance to get around and beaten him yet in the final- uh, in the secret boss fight. Looks tough as heck, I've seen videos about it. Um, but no, like, the design of him, I'm like, who is he? And he, like, willed all, like, all the Organization 13's, like, weapons, like, axles and, like, Demix's and Shiddar. And then, like, the, you know, second time when you find him again, it's just like, it's like massive, like he's inside like the dragon nobody's just like brain. And it's like, ah! And then like you have like Xemnas like whispering things like, Do you still trust Riku? I'm like, shut up I do. <laughs> and then like you just have that final fight, which is the just face off between Xemnas and I, I just love that moment where you're like pinned against all his like beams and then like you Riku just like hammer him down and just like blast with the keyblade. I'm like, uh, oh, this. I don't know. It's just like stuff like that. I, I'm like, a lot of like bosses, final bosses in video games don't have as much of an impact like two does to me. Aww, that's a good card end. <laughs> Put down my controller that's connected to everything because there are wires everywhere. So. Now that the LP is over, um, 
my th my my thoughts. You know, like I said, I play this game count sometimes, so I I've experienced this game over and over again. You know, um, and I don't like this game just for nostalgia reasons. I generally think this is a well-crafted, well-executed game. Even though people are like, this is where the plot gets weird when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts series, but I'm like, if you paid attention, then it's not too weird. It's just, I don't know, I'd rather like a complicated series than like something too simple. Like the first game was simple, it's just like, okay, you're separated from your island, and then um, you have to get back to your island, and also meanwhile, defeat these enemies that are against you from going back home. It's like, it's a simple premise, like, you have to, uh, like, it's simple. Like, Chain of Memories definitely changed it up a bit with, like, introduction, uh, introduction of the Organization 13. Like, that's where they originally came from. And, uh, they had, like, this cool, like, memory thing. And then, like, 2 just, like, completely brought a whole new world. <laughs> Don't you dare close your eyes <laughs> or your ears, because it gets just way... I don't know, like, Kingdom Hearts after 2 gets super interesting to me, because they, they want to tell this lore and it's it's an interesting lore, like like you have like the whole like concept of like the Keyblade War and like bearers of the past. It's like it's so I want to go here. Why didn't we get to go there? Well, actually, no. I think that might have been like a background of the mini games. Never mind. <laughs> um, but I love how open it is to <laughs> what the heck, Pooh? I love how open Kingdom Hearts Two is for like the post. Like it's like. What is this? You know? And also, Kingdom Hearts 2, if it didn't have any sequels after this game, I actually- I would have been super satisfied because I think the ending to 2 feels like a conclusion, but like like I said, it still has a huge door of uh, lore to go into, and that's what they do. Oh, I love this part! I love this part! It gives me the goosebumps every single time! And that still gives me goosebumps. I don't know why. I poked my nose. <laughs> Excuse me. I. Oh my. <gasps> like. Ah, uh, this game. This game is so important to me and everything that it is. Like that music and the, the characters and design. Like. <sighs> There's no moment in which I feel frustrated or like I feel like <gasps> like oh I have to do this. Even like the beginning, like a lot of people had a huge issue with like playing as Roxas in the beginning. I don't mind that. Like I feel like it builds a mystery. You're like, who the heck is this character? Like who's Roxas and what does he have to do with Sora? And like you learn more and more and it's like piques your interest and like now Roxas is like more liked by S than Sora in most of the fandom, which I prefer my being for Sora. Like I mean, Roxas is a good precious bean, but I say it for Sora. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I would love to do like a huge, just like massive video about Kingdom Hearts 2 one day. I totally probably will just give my huge appreciation. Look at Trotty's dance and he's like, yeah, yeah. I really want to do like a whole big tribute video to Kingdom Hearts. I actually wanted to do one before 3, but now I can include 3 after I beat it. Um, I, I just, and I think like how... To me, how are they gonna top this in three? Cause, like I said, millions of times, this game holds a huge sentimental value to me, and it's my favorite video game of all time. I'm like, I keep thinking about it. I'm like, what will Kingdom Hearts three bring to the table that might change my mind and make me uh, favor three over two? Like, I wonder about this stuff, you know? Like locations. I love the designs. Like Plaid for Life, Tetsunomori. You know my taste. <laughs> um, like. The, like the story's gonna be darker, especially with all the trailers that we've gotten from it. 
Hearts? Like, what is what is Kingdom Hearts three going to hold? I, I'm I'm glad Kingdom Hearts as a series, as many times you are shown different types of trailers, you still have no idea what's going on. <laughs> like Tetsu Nomura is wise to give the context what's going to be going on, but not know what the heck's going on at the same time. It's so weird. <laughs> um. I also let me let me talk about other things about Cage too. I love the gameplay. It's the most smoothest game I ever played in my life. Um, the music, like I've stated millions of times, is fantastic. Especially the remaster pieces. Like some tracks from the original version of Kingdom Hearts 2 are kind of fun, listenable because it sounds like a bunch of farting people in a trash can, like the parts of the Care theme in the original one. I'm like, oh no. But like, oh my gosh, like even then, like they're, the music was still good. I'm just over exaggerating. Um, but the music is great. There's no moment, like I said before, I felt like this was a waste of time. Even if it's like, you know, like a Disney movie that I'm not particularly a fan of. Like, I don't mind the Little Mermaid world. Like, all the worlds were fun, you know? Like they were sweet and simple, simple and clean. Haha, <laughs> they were just like, <sighs> They're, they're just they're just great like the worlds they were fun and they they knew what they wanted to be and they felt somewhere wider and open which can be an issue because you're like it feels empty at some point especially dream drop distance who like hunchback dr dawn in that world is like super empty but um i thought the worlds are more fun to explore like the characters like this is where i really like Sora, it's just like he connected with me so well. Like I, I, I say it with Sora. I forever will say it with Sora. I love him so god dang much. <laughs> He's my favorite video game boy of all time. Video game character, video game boy. Like, I, I love him. <laughs> He's my bean, and uh, I don't know. It just kind of gave birth to me being able to tell stories in ways that I want to tell them, as ridiculous as they may be. It's like any premise can work, as you know, freaking Elevator Ride gave birth to this series. If we didn't have the Elevator Ride, we may not have this series. Maybe, maybe in a different universe it's different, but I'm glad that we had the Elevator Ride, and I'm glad we were able to give, get something like Kingdom Hearts, and get something as great as a sequel from the first game, like Kingdom Hearts 2. I believe that Kingdom Hearts 2 is the best video game sequel of all times, and to me, it's the best video game of all time. But hold on, there's more. Can we talk about how, like, this, like, it- this still holds up, but like, we, we didn't even imagine this could be like, graphics would be staying in 3, isn't that amazing? Like, I think this still holds up pretty well. I mean, Scrooge is really changed, good huh? with that anyway, so. <laughs> nope. Nothing will. It's a romantic. <laughs> what a small world. Ah, oh, you're hot, Riku. <laughs> Never change. <laughs> Part of one that's much bigger. Yeah. Hey, Riku. What do you think it was? The door to the light. <laughs> This. This? Yeah. <laughs> it's always closer than you think. Nora! <laughs> oh boy! Riku! Hey Kyrie, what's up? What you got there? Hey, what's up? Look. From the king? Like, it feels like the most perfect ending to this game, but then, it, it, like I said, it's very open-ended. There's still a lot of mystery to solve. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> it's so close, I can taste it. Tastes like sea salt ice cream. Since, by the way, since we got all of those answer reports, we unlocked something interesting. I must know what this keyblade is. The key opens doors.
Let me just say that a lot of people thought that this was going to be three. <laughs> like, a lot of people thought that this was going to be three. Me included. I mean, because look at it. <laughs> And that game went to the PSP. <laughs> uh, look at that! Okay, so that art piece, I have it for um, the the Kingdom Hearts uh, soundtrack for the first game, Chain of Memories, and for two. It's so cool. So what do we got? Game level critical mode. Completion of the Jiminy Journal, 73%. Pretty good. Completion of Gummy root, uh, Routes, 14%. Healed party members, 101 times. 101 times. Uh, saved by Mickey? Okay, three. Three times pretty good. Most used form, valid form, 38 times because I was trying to level up to get higher jump. Uh, used uh, anti form, 12 times. Plus, I was trying to get um, final form, which you have to use anti form to get. So, most used form, stitch, which I was trying to level up. So, yeah. Well, there you were. Let's we'll save the game. Crazy, crazy. And then you like, you can view all the cutscenes, which I did. Like, I, I love like marathoning all the Kingdom Hearts 2 cutscenes because they're fun to watch. <laughs> They're fun. We're only missing two. We're missing one, which is unlocked after you beat a certain secret boss. He's not really secret. He's kind of there. And then you get this one from a very, very difficult uh, secret boss fight. So, um, um, what else can I say? Um, this was fun. It's freaking amazing that I was able to beat this game in critical mode, which I was doubting myself. I was like, do I really want to try to do an LP? of me beating my favorite game in the most hardest difficulty. Like, I mean, a lot of people said I could do it and I'm so glad I was able to do it because I was like so doubtful. I'm like, oh no, what if I mess up a bunch of times? What if I make a fool of myself? But like, wow, this was really fun playing critical mode. Um, but yeah, after this, um, I won't be back for this game in quite some time. It's This is not like the end of the Kingdom Hearts 2 LP. It's just the end for the main story. We're gonna be doing like, the um, bonus stuff such as secret boss fights. That's pretty much it. <laughs> secret boss fights, we're also going to be going through the Cavern of Remembrance, but I just want to level up myself to the most highest level in the game, uh, get all my uh, limits, not my limits, my drives all leveled up, also my summons all leveled up, and it'll take me some time. Like, leveling up, there's a method to leveling up in this game. Um, it's fun. I really like leveling up in this game, it's very satisfying. And doing all the secret stuff is going to be a bunch of fun, like, trust me. We're not gonna be doing the, the tournaments in uh, the Hercules World, because, like, it's not really it's kind of a breeze to really get through, so I won't be doing that, but I will be doing the secret bosses and all that stuff, so that'll be really, really fun to do. Um, we never let this play out originally. Oh my gosh. Like, how dare I not? Well, I didn't want to, like, show scenes from, like, the game originally, so, um, I'll let this play in the background as I kind of conclude this whole LP. Um, yes, I am doing a whole LP of Kingdom Hearts 3 when it comes out. I'll be playing it on proud mode, like I mentioned before, to uh, challenge myself, still have a fun time in the game, and also unlock the secret content, because the more higher difficulty that you play, the more easier it is to access um, the secret stuff, because uh, playing, st like, playing stuff like... Um, Birth by sleep in a very high uh, difficulty will definitely get you all the sweet secrets. So that's what I'm gonna be doing as well. Um, and uh, it's gonna be like my first time just playing a Kingdom Hearts game completely blind ever since uh, 0 0.2 back in 2017, which it w that was really fun. Like going into a Kingdom Hearts game without knowing anything about anything is, sorry, is always fun. Because I know that I'm always going to have a good time with it. Because, like, even if it's not my favorite Kingdom Hearts game, I still have a blast with it. There's no Kingdom Hearts game I hate. A lot of people hate Recoded. There are some good stuff from Recoded that I like. 
um, you know, stuff like three fifty slash two days. You have the whole, you know, Shion Axel Roxas thing going on. You have Birth by Sleep, which is the most darkest Kingdom Hearts game that I've played. Maybe three might top that from what I've seen from the trailers. The first game was just classic for being just like a goofy, fun, uh, fun, fun, fun time. And Chain of Memories just kind of messes with your head, and that's really fun. And, um, you know, Dreamed of Distance, it's, you know, the build-up to what 3 is gonna be, and it it, it, it goes deep into the, the story of what the villain is trying to do. Like all, these, like, all the Kingdom Hearts games are just have something that I enjoy from it. Even if it's not my favorite gameplay-wise, I still enjoy it story-wise. Back cover is interesting, even though it's... It's an hour long and the characters aren't really fleshed out that much, besides the master. The master is fantastic, my new favorite character. And then 0 0.2, you get like a glimpse of what 3 is going to be, it's amazing. And like, uh, the, the app game has a lot of lore in it too, from what I've heard. Like, I really want to try to get into more of the app game. I might just watch a YouTube uh, video about that, because uh, I tried. <laughs> I really did try. Um, I don't know, just, it, but for me, Kingdom Hearts 2. I always come back to it every single time if I want to play a Kingdom Hearts game. I'm like, what Kingdom Hearts game do I want to play <laughs> today? I'm like, two. <laughs> I love it. My sanctuary, my sanctuary. My fears, my Melt away Kingdom Hearts 2 Final <laughs> I love this game so much. It's it's so much fun. Um <laughs> I'm being a dork, don't mind me. My face is turning so red. Oh my god, it's so red. Good lord. I need to calm down. <laughs> um, but, um, in all seriousness, I hope you guys had a fun, fun, fun time watching this whole LP. Um, I, of course I loved it. It's my favorite game. Of course I would love playing this game. I hope you guys enjoyed me gushing, loving playing this game. And I hope you guys, like, maybe, like, are curious about Kingdom Hearts? Like, Kingdom Hearts 2 was the first Kingdom Hearts game that I've played. Ever. I'm just gonna press new game. I mean, I'm not gonna be new gaming it at all. Um, I just wanna pause it right there. Um, but uh, if Kingdom Hearts 2 made you interested in the Kingdom Hearts series, please take a gander. Like, there's the whole Kingdom Hearts, uh, the story thus far collection that is out for only like $39 for the PS4 if you have one. Because if you guys don't know, Kingdom Hearts games usually went to different platforms, just uh, such like the DS, the PSP, 3DS, Game Boy. It got a little bit repetitive, but then they finally they're like, okay, PlayStation 4. <laughs> Let's aim for just putting it on the PlayStation 4, and you just have like a ton of content that you can play, like all the games up to three, which um, you know. This will probably be uploaded before the day that 3 is released, so... I don't- I- you, Just play as much Kingdom Hearts as you can. Definitely don't try to marathon all the Kingdom Hearts games, because you will be there for a while. Um, three, uh, three of them are technically movies. There is um, 358 uh, slash 2 days, which is a movie. Recoded, which is a movie. And Back Cover, which is a movie. And... Um, yeah, I, I mean, of I recommend them um, in the way the play is when they were released. Don't play them in the order that they should be. Like, don't start with Birth by Sleep. Um, you will be spoiled for a lot of things to come. Play them in the release in which they came out. Like, the first game, Channel Memories 2, uh, 3 Philly, Slash 2 Days, Birth by Sleep, um, Recoded, Dream Drop Distance. Uh, back cover and 0.2. I recommend playing those and watching them so those particular order. Um, if you're, if you were interested in Kingdom Hearts and just liked watching the LP, then I, at least you guys had some fun with it. Um, of course, I don't expect everyone to love Kingdom Hearts as much as I do because like Kingdom Hearts to a lot of people is just like what. <laughs> 
Like, you, yeah, people, you can understand Kingdom Hearts. You just open up your mind. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, like, I never got lost when it came to Kingdom Hearts. And, like, I know there's, like, some weird, confusing stuff, Cage. Kingdom Hearts is a weird series that I enjoy a lot. I can admit that. <laughs> but I, I really do like it. Like, without this series, without this game, I seriously do not know what kind of person I would be. Because I take a lot of inspiration of what kind of person I want to be from this game. Because Sora, even t till today, is my role model of what kind of person I want to be. Because, like, Sora's character is... He's just such a great character, like, I can talk about Sora all day and how important he is to me. And I I want you guys to share your passions about the series in the comments below. What what your favorite Kingdom Hearts game is, uh, what makes you so passionate about the series, who's your favorite character, what's your favorite world, what's your favorite final boss, what's your favorite soundtrack piece, like, put that all down there, son. <laughs> this is, this whole Let's Play is just appreciating Kingdom Hearts. For me, it's me appreciating Kingdom Hearts too. It really is. But tell tell me what your favorite Kingdom Hearts game is. And yeah, I really want to try Let's Playing all the Kingdom Hearts games in the future. So far, it's just been this and then Dream Drop Distance, which I sadly am not going to get Dream Drop Distance finished in time, but that's fine. Um, I definitely want to play through one. I want to play through Chain of Memories on the channel. I really do. Uh, Birth by Sleep is a big one, too. Um, I could also play the DS games, um, like, actually do an LP on it on the DS, because I have a capture card on my DS. And, uh, yeah. It's, that'd be fun. <laughs> that'd be really- I don't know if I can- I, I don't want to- I don't think I can play the app game. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I think I've stretched this out long enough of me talking about Kingdom Hearts 2. It's a fantastic game. I give it a 10 out of 10. IGN doesn't know what they're talking about when it comes to Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> I'm not trying to bash them. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, gosh, what else do I have to say? This was, this was really fun. This was really, really fun. Um, all I have to say now is I will see you guys in Kingdom Hearts 3, which I never thought I would say. I thought it was a myth. I really did. <laughs> if I can't watch the you, it's just a legend. <laughs> a legend that has finally come to be, so. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, join, join along with me as we all journey together in a new territory, which is Kingdom Hearts 3. So I'll see you lovelies there. And may your heart be your guiding key. A peace.